Welcome to the fascinating world of rats and the incredible array of sounds they can make. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the variety of vocalizations rats produce, what they mean, and the emotional context behind these sounds. So, settle in, and let's explore how these tiny mammals communicate with one another. First, it's important to understand that rats communicate mainly through high-frequency sounds that are beyond the range of human hearing. These ultrasonic calls can range from 20 kilohertz to as high as 100 kilohertz. Thanks to modern technology and specialized recording equipment, we can now study these high-frequency vocalizations and better understand their meanings. One of the most well-known and studied rat sounds is bruxing. Bruxing is the sound produced when a rat rapidly grinds its teeth together. Though it might seem like a sign of discomfort, the opposite is true. Bruxing typically indicates that a rat is content and relaxed, similar to how a cat purring shows satisfaction. Another common vocalization is the squeak, and unlike bruxing, rat squeaks can have various meanings. A high-pitched, loud squeak often indicates fear, pain, or distress. However, a softer, more playful squeak can be heard during social interactions and playtime among rats. It's essential to pay attention to the context in which the squeak occurs to understand its meaning better. Rats also produce chirps or clicks. These sounds are thought to be an expression of happiness or excitement. Chirps and clicks often occur during play, grooming, or when a rat finds a tasty treat. These sounds can vary in tone and pitch, but they typically signify a positive emotional state for the rat. Now, Let's delve into a lesser known form of rat communication, ultrasonic vocalizations or USVs. USVs are high pitched sounds inaudible to humans and they play a vital role in the social lives of rats. Researchers have classified these vocalizations into two primary frequency ranges, 22 kilohertz calls and 50 kilohertz calls. 22 kilohertz calls are low frequency USVs that rats emit when they're in distress, frightened, or experiencing pain. These sounds can act as an alarm signal to communicate with other rats that danger is nearby or that they should stay away from a particular area. On the other hand, 50 kilohertz calls are high frequency USVs and they often indicate positive emotions. Rats produce these sounds during social interactions, such as play, mating, and friendly greetings. Researchers have identified over a dozen distinct 50 kilohertz calls, suggesting that rats have a complex and nuanced form of communication to express their emotional states. Besides these vocalizations, rats also communicate through body language, such as grooming, play fighting, and scent marking. Combining these non-verbal cues with the audible sounds they produce paints a comprehensive picture of the rich tapestry of rat communication. In conclusion, rats have a remarkable range of vocalizations that serve various purposes, from expressing their emotions to warning others of potential danger. Their ability to communicate in both the audible and ultrasound range demonstrates just how complex and sophisticated these little creatures are. The next time you encounter a rat or watch an adorable rat video online, Remember that there's a whole symphony of sounds and emotions happening that our human ears can't even detect. Psst.